Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's jump right into it. In today's video you will find out how the price of NEO has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, RSI, divergence and stochastic RSI are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the NEO hourly time frame, the price went up with around 3.2%, but then came quickly down again in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 11.5. Looking at the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 200 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 200 SMA which is currently at 11.2 it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 11.6 could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Pointedly, the current price is above the 200 SMA, which is perceived as a strong support. Nevertheless, if there were to be a decisive downward dip, it will signal a possible big move down. Looking at the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 53, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Looking for divergence in the hourly time frame, owing to a bearish divergence, the price could go down from now on or at least remain stable for the time being. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are currently very low, which means that the price is oversold and a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation is to be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually change to the upside. Looking at the three hourly simple moving averages, the price crossed the 20 SMA upwards it's a strong signal that there has been a higher than average volume. The current price is above all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bullish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA could hold support or the price will break it to the downside below the current price of around 11.2. Jumping to the three hourly relative strength index, the current three hourly RSI is at 57 so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Looking at the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region, which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. The K line is currently located below the D line, meaning that there is a downwards trend. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.